Oink, oink. What the? You don't want to come across this schizophrenic evil villain, Professor Pig, explored. All the superheroes are known to deal with different kinds of evil villains, and Batman is no exception. But when the right time came, the creators of Batman decided to introduce the eerie, creepy, and mentally ill villain which the world had never seen before. The horror world has witnessed innumerable iconic as well as underrated mass villains capable of terrorizing your subconscious mind, but here is one of the weirdest, most insane characters ever produced by DC Comics, Professor Pig. Shall we go into dinner? Chop, chop. So what makes Professor Pig wearing a mask of a pig and a butcher's apron distinguish from the others? He doesn't just kidnap and slaughter his victims, he is obsessed with perfection and considers human beings as imperfect, broken individuals. Hence he uses chemicals and surgeries to permanently alter his victims to mind control automatons called dolotrons, or sometimes into human-animal hybrids. Grant Morrison and Andy Kuber created the character of Professor Pig who debuted in the story of Batman issue 666 in July 2007 by DC Comics. Later he was a a reoccurring villain in the mainstream DC universe. All messed up inside out. Pig. Make her better. There is an interesting backstory to the name of Professor Pig. Here you go. Morrison got the inspiration for the name from the song Pigmalism, written by the Scottish songwriter Mamas for the Japanese singer Kahimi Carey. Now, Professor Pig appearing in the song was, in turn, based on the character of Professor Henry Higgins from George Bernard Shaw's stage play Pygmalion. Professor Higgins was an uptight professionist who trained a cockney flower girl, Eliza Doolittle, to become a perfect lady in influency and mannerism. Now comes the best part. Pygmalion originates from ancient Greek mythology and the narrative poem Metamorphosis by Ovid. In Greek mythology, Pygmalion was a Greek king and sculptor who made an ivory statue of a woman. The sculpture was so perfect that Pygmalion fell in love with it. That was quite a backstory. I know that is unfamiliar to link the sweet love backstory of Pygmalion and the insane mind-controlling villain Professor Pig, but the common thing among the three characters is the obsession with their own concept of perfection, creating or altering someone or something to match the level of perfection according to their satisfaction. Pig was only interested in transforming living human beings into robot-like pain resistant and Dolotrons. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. The origins of one of the weirdest Batman villains. The actual name of Professor Pig was Lazo Valentine, who was a former agent of Spiral, a corrupt United Nations agency that was engaged in designing neopharmaceutical products like mine and rotting gas compounds. While experimenting with his compounds, Lazo became affected by his own created compound and was transformed into a violent, paranoid schizophrenic scientist. With his mental breakdown, he developed a quest for perfection and started performing terrible operations on his confined victims, converting them into Dolotrons. Now let us see what Dolotrons are. Pig attacked doll masks to the faces of his victims which began to transform their heads. Then Pig performed surgery on his victims who were lobotomized into organic robots without any thought and feelings, resembling red-haired Cupid dolls. This process made Dolotrons highly resistant to pain and mindlessly attacking their targets. Dolotron was Professor Pig's idea of perfection. He was fond of his makeshift mother made of nails and boards. He seemed to have auditory hallucinations from his makeshift mother who constantly monitored and commanded his work for improvement. Dolotrons had been suffering a fate that was even worse than death. Pig and his Dolotrons debuted in the 2007 story Batman and Bethlehem, published in DC Comics in Batman No. 666 series. There he was featured as a leading crime lord of Gotham and was shown rather ugly without his iconic mask, using chemicals to torture people to create Dolotrons. He was later murdered and crucified by the Bat Devil. Later in 2009, the story of Batman and Robin reintroduced Laszlo Valentine as the boss of a gang called Circus of Strange, unless some experimental mishap transformed him into Professor Pig. Here he sold drugs to the underworld and generated the fund for carrying out his experiments of creating Dolotrons. By interrogating the gang members of Circus of Strange, Batman and Robin discovered Pig's plans to devastate Gotham City by spreading a mind-controlled drug throughout the infected Dolotrons. He even tried to hold the city for ransom. Pig was arrested and taken to Blackgate Penitentiary. Professor Pig and Various Story Arcs Later in 2010, the character of Professor Pig returned into the plot of Batman and Robin Must Die. In this story, Pig was appointed under the supervillain Dr. Simon Hurt when the population of Gotham was affected by a virus. As more and more people became affected, Pig took advantage of the situation and escaped from Blackgate Penitentiary. With the increasing surge of infected people, more and more riots also occurred under the influence of Dr. Hurt, compelling Batman to confront Dr. Hurt and take control of the situation. The infected civilians were confined and quarantined 
scene while Professor Pig was kept in Arkham Asylum. There was a reboot in the Batman series by DC Comics under the New 52 banner. Professor Pig's backstory was further extended to the story of Batman Incorporated Leviathan Strikes in December 2011. In addition to the backstory of Pig, his son Janos Valentine was introduced into the story engaged with criminal organization Leviathan. Jason claimed that he had learned to be immune to pain from his father. Pig continued his cameo appearances as an Arkham Asylum inmate in the Forever Evil storyline. In October 2013, Andy Kubert wrote a prequel of Batman in Bethlehem titled Damien, Son of Batman, where Pig and his Dolatrons appeared. Batman tried to control his experiments on kidnapped children, but the Dolatrons expelled Batman while Pig couldn't be arrested. In the first volume of Batman Eternal, which ran from April 2014, Pig played a comparatively more significant role. The powerful mob boss Carmine Falcone was determined to rule the criminal underground of Gotham City. He framed Batman for destroying Pig's laboratory. Enraged Pig sent his remaining Dolatrons to attack Batman, but when Batman told him the truth, Pig attacked and destroyed one of the labs run by Falcone. Eventually, Pig converted many people into human-animal hybrids and confronted Falcone. Pig captured Falcone and was about to operate on him when Batman stopped him from doing so. Pig also appeared in the comic series featuring Wonder Woman and Robin, related publications where Pig used an abandoned theater for his criminal activities under supervillain Brother Blood. Pig also became a reoccurring villain in the animated series Beware the Batman, released in 2013. Here again, Pig was featured as a deranged surgeon. Along with Mr. Toad, Professor Pig targeted people in the fashion industry who were responsible for deranging animal life. They were stopped and defeated by Batman and Katana. Later, Pig and Toad were released from Blackgate Penitentiary by Ra's al Ghul to conspire and kill Batman. After a few months, Pig stole Kirk Langstorm's formula, transforming the scientists into Man-Bat. Then they convinced him to steal chemicals that would create a controlled army of human-animal hybrids. Ultimately, they were defeated by Batman and Katana and taken to Blackgate. A slightly different but fascinating story of Professor Pig is noted when Pig is seen in a side quest of the video game Batman Arkham Knight, released in 2015. In this video game, Professor Pig conducted his surgeries to make Dollatrons in an operation theater hidden under his Pretty Dolls Parlor Beauty Salon. He used to wrap their heads and hands with bandages and dress them in hospital robes before putting the doll masks on their faces. Batman came across six mutilated bodies strung up and opera music being played in the speakers around the bodies while words like failure and defective were written beside them. The brutal process of converting people to Dollatrons corrupted the DNA and destroyed their fingerprints. Hence, Batman had no option but to use deep tissue scanner to look for unique marks to identify the bodies in the missing persons database. After investigation, Batman traced out Laszlo Valentine, aka Professor Pig, who took the lease of Pretty Doll's parlor. On reaching the parlor, Batman heard the same opera music which was played with the corpses, making him more suspicious. Eventually, Batman found the entrance to the operation theater and intervened with an ongoing operation. Batman ordered Pig to release all of the prisoners, but instead Pig and his Dolatrons initiated fierce combat with Batman. Finally, Batman defeated Pig and his Dolatrons and locked him in the Gotham City Police Department or the GCPD. DC Comics was still not happy yet. In May 2016, they relaunched their comic books under the DC Rebirth brand. Pig had been such an influential character that he kept on appearing over and over again in Nightwing issue 18, Harley Quinn issue 43 and 44, even in Batwoman issue 11, and many others. Oink, oink. Little piggy. What changed in the TV adaptation? Lazo Valentine sees his first on-screen presence in the fourth season of the television series Gotham, starred by Michael Cerveris. He was known to kill cops and place a pig head over the corpse. In the comic version, Pig was known to wear a pig mask, while in Gotham he appeared generally creepy as an actual species of a pig's face was sewn together and worn as a mask, which made Cerveris extremely uncomfortable. Unlike the original Pig, who was obsessed with the perfection of human beings, Gotham Pig was obsessed with corruption in GCPD. Thus, he was on a mission to slaughter every corrupt police officer and slap a pig head on him. Instead of Dolotrons, the Gotham pig had a few low-level criminals working for him who procured pig heads for him. He was also seen on a pig farm implying that he intended to raise his own pigs. Why would he suddenly do that? That is because he needed a lot of pigs which meant there would be a lot of murders in Gotham City. Pig made his film debut in the animated film Suicide Squad Hell to Pay, where he was again featured as an underground surgeon who worked under the supervillains. It's over. But pig can fix you too. Make you perfect like the others. <laughs> Pig standing out from the remaining Batman villain. Laszlo Valentine stands out from the rest among the list of the most equated villains that Batman faced like Joker, Ra's al Ghul, Scarecrow, Bane, Riddler, and others. Batman was evolved with the creepy dark corners of life for the first time. Pig was schizophrenic paranoid having his unique concept of perfection with no underground or reason. He felt extremely proud to be associated with the character of Pygmalion as he believed that the Dolatrons were his work of art, a perfect form of human beings who had no feelings, no pain, no gender. That that is why Pig is spelled as P-Y-G, being the 
short form of Pygmalion and not P.I.G. associated with the pig's mask that he wears. Like the sculpture Pygmalion, he loved his creations too. He reminds me of the schizophrenic surgeon Dr. Giggles who giggled and murdered his victims. What Pig does with his victims is even worse than being dead. Let us hear what Grant Morrison has to say about Pig. Professor Pig isn't from another world, he's from here, but he's very, very sick. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone. All messed up inside out. Take.